this first initiative, which is the Banking and Finance Oath. How did the panel come about to decide on that as the first initiative that they would undertake? Well, we, we first of all got together as a group saying, well, we all have a common interest and a common personal uh, commitment to giving ethics the right place in the industry and in our own organisations. So we started from a good common spot. Then when we got talking about, well, how can we actually get ethics to come to the fore in the industry? And we realised pretty quickly that it can't be purely organisationally driven. In other words, imposing on people ethics from an organisation isn't really the right way to get true personal buy-in. And the oath was seen as a great way to actually get individuals within the industry, regardless of organisation, to consider the particular principles that are being put forward and to adopt them personally. And for individuals to take that step, we think is a really powerful way to get the industry as a whole to lift, particularly if the oath does gain momentum and becomes a commonly accepted element of one's activity in the industry, then it will start to grow upon itself. And as individuals become aware that other individuals in the industry with whom they're dealing have signed up to the oath, then it does gain momentum. But it is a very personal thing, and the whole focus of the panel was to get individuals to buy into a set of ethics and principles that we think will behave the industry well. It's individual ethics and judgment calls that are going to drive um, the standards within our industry. And I would hope that we could develop a culture in our industry whereby the oath means something to people and they remember it as they conduct themselves in their daily work and it's not meant to, to, to restrict people's competitiveness, it's not meant to restrict that people's entrepreneurial behaviour, it's meant to give them a framework and a set of words around which they should be behaving in any event uh, but around which they can actually have some clarity as to what that behaviour means in terms of a set of words. The oath gives us a chance to say, well, we, we do expect people uh, who have taken the oath or um, who, who are looking at the oath to understand that it does have an obligation to act in a certain way. And that, I think, is a very healthy thing. Well, there's been obviously a lot of work that's been done on this, and uh, we've been very pleased to be involved in that work. Uh, I think the starting premise was that uh, it's important for individuals to be able to act in an ethical way. Uh, if you have individuals doing the right thing in the first instance, everything else will follow. Very prominent bankers and finance related people have met, created the oath and are prepared to swear by that oath in the way they do their business. And there's no real magic in this, it's simply fundamental appropriate principles that we should operate within the framework of as we go about our business and interface with our clients and indeed the broader community. If the organisation can endorse the oath and push, not, not push it, but actually put forward that this is good for the individual, it's good for the organisation, it's good for the industry, then I'm hopeful it'll get really good take up. As far as internationally concerned, well, it would be great if, if the industry as a whole was to adopt um, standards such as this, if not this very one. Um, I think we start locally first and then look beyond the borders after that. <laughs>